This is our uh, flagship product. It is a modular home controller, which is more uh, intended to be professional, as uh, professionals are required for uh, for uh, uh, extending its abilities by attaching additional modules. But to actually fill the gap uh, and to uh, get into a retail market, we also have a, a retail version of the Zippa box. We call it Zippa Mini. This box will come to a market uh, in March and will have a, a retail price approximately about uh, $100. And this box itself has a Z-Wave controller inside and it, it has an Android and uh, it also does have a HDMI output so you can attach it to a, to a, a monitor or to a TV screen in order to, to use it as a TV box or to access, uh, access the, our Java application on top of it uh, much easier. This box will have a will be a fully powered Z-Wave uh, controller which will be certified uh, in March as a Z-Wave Plus controller so you can attach any Z-Wave device to it and you can also use USB ports uh, to attach some additional USB dongle like uh, 3G dongle which uh, we just uh, had here we just have it here so you can attach it here if you want to have a backup connection to a cloud so now you can use it for a more critical applications like for a flood sensing or smoke sensing and you can attach maybe some uh, similar dongle which is a Zigbee dongle and uh, then the box will speak both Zigbee and Zero. Together with the software for uh, iOS which we have and uh, Android uh, plus the control panel which we have online you can use this box to automate your home uh, uh, in order to get better security, in order to get uh, uh, more safety. Uh, to, to, uh, we are having a special software for elderly care, allowing you to analyze the activity of elderly person, not only by putting a brackets, uh, br bracelets on them, but also to, by analyzing their energy consumption. Once energy consumption in a certain period of time uh, is not being changed, uh, Zippa box will trigger an alarm. It will call the elderly person first, and if elderly person doesn't cancel that alarm, then we'll call the caregiver. This will help us to avoid false alarms, but also to to extend the, the living the home living period for elderly person. So uh, besides the Mini, we have alternative options for it, which is just a different design and a Linux box. And we also have an option for, uh, with an with a, uh, Android-based tablet, which is uh, sitting on a, on a wall by using our wall holder, which is also the charger. And there is a magnet inside the wall holder and magnet inside the, the tablet, which allows you to easily attach the wall, wall tablet to a wall holder and it's being charged right now. So it's a, actually prepared to be sitting on the wall all the time. And it's and a complete controller. It's, it's a complete controller which, is, uh, which has a Z-Wave inside, but it also does have our application, which I just showed to you on a mobile phone, which allows you to also uh, use your system completely, like uh, arming and disarming, like I'm doing it right now, checking uh, all your parameters. Also, you can do certain um, uh, configuration options. Like what, do the, what, do video? Yes, uh, video, you can uh, check it out if we go here. But not on this one currently, as this one is not connected to the internet. Okay. But you could do, could you do two-way intercoms? Uh, currently not yet. We okay. do, uh, for an intercom, we would need uh, an, uh, uh, an ability to speak with a person right. outside, which is not implemented yet, but we are working on it. This is the next thing. Uh, the, the last alternative which we have here is a IP camera, which has a Z-Wave dongle and uh, a Zipato software inside. So it acts as an IP camera plus a fully featured Zipato uh, control. So you can use this camera if you like in a retail store. You can buy it for a camera to be a camera of yours, which is a very very good camera. But on the other side, you can also attach few motion sensors, few actuators, or uh, some other Z-Wave devices and control them over your mobile phone by using your own camera. We consider that as a very very nice start uh, uh, with a home automation in your home. And later on, if you really like home automation, you would really like to automate 
automate your home seriously, then I think you should go with a serious controller, expand that controller with a various expansion modules, use help of professional installers, and have your home smart.